in order to MIG weld, you have two options. MIG 2T, which is your classic MIG, which you are probably used to. You pull the trigger, it welds, you let go of the trigger, it stops. Or you have a MIG 4T option. The trigger will do different things as you press it in different programs. We will get into this. So for now, let's stick with 2T. The far left button will give you a program list. This program list has factory pre-programmed settings. This basically replaces your door chart that you would normally have in a machine when you open the wire door. You have pre-programmed programs for 023, 24, 25 wire, for 030, 030 with pulse, 035. Then you have several different aluminum programs. Then you have some stainless programs, silicone bronze programs with and without pulse, and flux cord wire gasless, and flux cord wire with shielding gas, like a dual shield wire. So let's say you pick 030 wire, you hit the select button, you can see in the top line here, MIG mild steel 030 with the majority component is argon gas, and you have anywhere between 8 and 2% CO2 in that mixture. So anywhere from a 92.8, 90.10, 85.15, 80.20, or 75.25 gas can be used to weld in this program. Also what this screen shows is it shows you a wire feed rate in inches per minute. It shows you a suggested material thickness, about 1 16th of an inch. It shows you a arc voltage here, which is your predicted arc voltage and a predicted amperage depending on how close you hold the gun to the metal. If you feel that your machine, while well, it's a little bit too cold, you wish you would have a little bit more voltage, you can take the lower dial and watch the voltage. It turns red as you add voltage to it or as you take voltage out of it the factory setting, the voltage will be black. If you say, I like the voltage, but I want a little bit more wire. So now remember this 18.0, a little bit more wire, you dial it up to 283 inches a minute, 18.3 volt, you take 0.3 volt out, you add it wire without adding voltage. So now you have a couple other settings. On mild steel wire, typically your inductance, you start at zero. You can change your inductance, which makes the arc crisper or softer, the puddle more fluid or stiff. Your start speed should be around 50 to 70% with a start time of 0.3 seconds. What this will do is it will feed the wire at half the speed. So instead of 250 inches a minute, 125 inches a minute, till it touches the metal. Then after it touches the metal, for the next 0.3 seconds, it will stay at that lower speed and then kick up to full speed. What that does is it prevents you from machine gunning. It makes for a smooth and crisp arc initiation. Your burn back is the length of the wire that sticks out when you're done. Of course, you can always trim this with the wire cutter. Your pinch determines the shape of the wire. Normally, you have a big ball welding MIG on the end. The pinch throws a final burst of current in order to throw that molten ball into the puddle and leave the wire end sharp. For steel wire, 030 and 35, I would recommend the burn back setting that is pretty low, below 20, and the pinch setting that is around 100 to leave a sharp wire. After that, you have a pre-flow and a post-flow for gas. And uh, here you can switch your machine from uh, metric to standard. Uh, you have a spool gun option and a factory reset option. 